Tan Zamar Sloppy Joes. I made them extra sloppy for you. I know how you kids like them sloppy. Lady, you're scaring us. What's up, guys? Got a uh, giant sloppy joe. Uh, always been a favorite uh, meal for me, so might as well amp it up and make a giant one. So this is about six and a half, seven pounds worth of uh, sloppy joe and bread. Got a big, big giant Kaiser's. It's a whole bunch of sloppy joe mix. We'll see how, how how fast we can do this. We're gonna enjoy it and see how we can go. We'll get this thing started. In uh, starting off at 6:49. So three, two, one. Let's go. Look at that. That looks good. Oh my god. I'm gonna enjoy this. The bread is lost in the meat. <laughs> Definitely a messy sloppy gel. Definitely sloppy and messy, but that's the whole reason why they call it the Sloppy Joe, and it definitely lived up to its name, but it was definitely delicious. Hmm. I wish I could eat these freaking every day. Holy moly. I haven't had Sloppy Joe in so long. I forgot how good they were. Definitely messy though. Not first date material. <laughs> Go out there and be like ribs. You just make a messy yourself, but who's gonna have sloppy jumps on a date unless you're comfortable with them? Super comfortable. Or in the cafeteria where there's no other choice. Acting like I've ever been on a date. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, it was definitely a bigger challenge. Uh, but that sauce, that uh, the manwich sauce, definitely made it easy to go down and uh, very delicious overall. It was a great challenge. This bread was uh, baked fresh today, so definitely, definitely helping it go down nice. Delicious. Now it's just sloppy mix. <laughs> sloppy show mix for the rest of the thing. Should have done more bread for it. So far, so good. Clean up myself, make sure I'm presentable. <laughs> Not really. Anyway, I'll finish the commentary here. Overall, it was a great challenge, and uh, I'll just leave you to me shoveling piles of meat <laughs> into my mouth. Pick it up. Hmm? Pick it up. Pick it up. Mm -hmm. I'm only like three and a half minutes in. You have to look the plate too. There can't be any red on it. I should have made this bigger, like 10 pounds. I should have done that too. It's okay.
Was it Billy Madison that the Sloppy Joe was in? So it's like the ultimate Billy Madison food challenge. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Nice little ring to it. I'm not going to let any of this go to waste. Oh, we'll Randy Santo and lick the bowl. <laughs> not actually. I think we're good. Are we good? I think we're pretty clear. There we go. Probably like seven and a half, yeah. Seven and a half, nine and a half. I started at fifty. I'm even mean forty-nine. Okay, never mind. My math is wrong. Six minutes. It's fifty-five now. So we're done. Oh, I, don't know, I was, I was damn tasty. Almost as as that as as delicious as that uh, giant burrito that I did homemade, but you gotta love what is it, manwich? That manwich uh, blend is definitely uh, definitely delicious. You mix that with the ground pork or ground beef or ground chicken, whatever the heck you got. The warlock sauce. The warlock sauce. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. It's definitely uh, cool. Take a. Uh, take any sandwich to a new dimension with that. That's definitely delicious. But, uh, bread was good. Ground beef. I mean, no, I had ground pork because I'm not a beef fan. <laughs> Which is weird on my part. Uh, especially with uh, the profession that I have or whatever we want. The hobby I have. Definitely not a profession, but lots of uh, beef going down with all these burger challenges and everything like that. But let me know what you want to see down in the comment section below, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Catch you next time.